which by the way is the meaning of Ubuntu. It's it's an African term which means like humanity towards others or something like that. And the idea is to spread the philosophy of Ubuntu with this Linux distribution. Like, hey, you know, we're gonna be nice to each other and just give each other this free operating system. Whew. And there's also long-term support editions, and those uh, they support for like three years on the desktop and five years on server side. <laughs> So you can go three years without having to upgrade at all. And again, the upgrades are really easy. You don't have to reinstall everything. It just works. You know, I thought when I started Linux, I started this, what, four or five months ago? Something like that. Um, that it would be, you know, really geeky. <laughs> That you need to go into the command line. Like, for those of you who don't know, that's when it's, like, just text on the screen and no pictures, you know? The command line we're geeks about. And, and granted, historically, Linux has a lot of command line stuff because it's geeks who are making it, and geeks are quite content to figure this stuff out. I consider myself a geek, but I don't actually know much command line. Um, so you can use a command line if you want. But you really don't have to, you know. Not any more than you do with Windows, you know, which is, is practically never. Man, and the stuff just works. It j you just turn on, it works. There are problems with it, right? Uh, sometimes things don't work. But sometimes things don't work in Windows. Trust me, I know. <laughs> sometimes I make money, uh fixing people's computers. <laughs> I, I, I have some grasp of the depth to which Windows does not work, at least at times. So, I started using Ubuntu a few months ago, and I basically never looked back. Worked just great. Does everything I need. Granted, most of what I do is just, you know, word processing and, and, and surfing the internet. But still... So that works great, and then here's here's my one gripe, right? And it's a serious one. The one thing Ubuntu doesn't have. It doesn't run my webcam. <laughs> See, but I, I make videos all the time. Which means I'm in Windows all the time now. Which means I have to boot it up and be like... Na -na 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 -na. <laughs> And then, uh, you know, like, leave the room, you know, because it's got to load, like, all these programs. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> ah, And, you know, a lot of people say, for various devices that uh, Linux or Ubuntu may not support, they say, well, it's not really Linux's fault. Because it's not like, you know, the guys at Microsoft write the drivers, the programs that is to make all these devices work, right? So someone makes this webcam, this Logitech Quick Cam, um, UltraVision Special Edition for any of you trying to help me out on this. Um, for anybody for doing that, if, if somebody makes a device, right, they write the driver too, and so you install it, and it comes with a driver, and so that installs like onto Windows, right? And if the people at Logitech would do the same thing for Linux, that'd be great, <laughs> because then you know it would it would just work would just work. But it doesn't just work. It doesn't work at all. Um, and, you know, so you could say it's not Linux's fault. Well, yeah. But uh, the consumer doesn't really care whose fault it is. They want to know how they can get their webcam going. Now, I have my laptop here running on a dual boot, right? So what that means is, you know, and this is the thing anybody can do when they're installing Ubuntu. You can say, okay, Put my hard drive into two pieces and put Windows over here and Ubuntu over there. And every time you turn it on, it's like, which one would you like? And you can, like, select one, right? So, um, which is why I still have Windows on this thing. Otherwise, I would have had to, like, buy another copy of Windows, which would have been a real pain. So now, like, you know, I'm hoping to go back to, Bun to Ubuntu any, any day as soon as I get the, the webcam working. But... I don't know how to do that. Uh, I found, like, the, you know, the Camerama webcam viewer is a program. It's like, you know, camera not properly detected or something like that. I'm like, oh, I need to install some drivers. So I heard about some guy that had done drivers for, like, 305 webcams or something like that. Um, 
So I went and downloaded drivers there, and that didn't work. I'm like, oh wait, no, I need to download this other driver, and that didn't actually work. And they got this program called EasyCam, and that's supposed to do it for you, and it didn't. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but I can definitely recommend a dual boot. <laughs> I can definitely recommend get yourself a live CD, just try it out, and then do a dual boot thing that means you, you know, Windows, you just do two partitions, is what they're called. And yes, I'm getting slightly geeky now. Like, what's partition? What do you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, aside from the non webcam support, it's a nice fast, stable platform. The Zillion programs, and soon enough I'll have more, because every six months they have a new release and it's got new abilities and it's got better stuff. And that's why I think Ubuntu is awesome. If only they would support my webcam. Or, you know, if Logitech would support my webcam. Logitech. <laughs> That'd be great. Thanks for watching. See you later.